You know, seeing, seeing you win assessment is playing for the Mets this year has fans excited. And maybe there's a chance he'll play a bigger role than just designated hitter. Cespedes has been taking some fielding and maybe revisiting the idea of playing first base. He's been running with no pain, says he's ready to contribute with his glove as well as his bat. And Stephen Matster is simulating game today. He spent his quarantine in Nashville where his workouts actually included facing live major league hitters from that area. That sped up his progress in camp, and now he's working on particulars. I've been messing around with different grips on different pitches and throwing a slower curveball and a harder curveball. And, I, you know, I was throwing hitters at once a week, you know, for four innings. I really was able to just tinker with a lot of different grips. So all that just gave me a better feel for what I was doing out there. And I think that's the biggest thing is having that comfortable feel on the mound. And the Yankees, Garrett Cole, looked great in his simulated game. He struck out six batters in just five innings of work. And there are some things he's going to have to get used to. After one of the strikeouts, the infield threw the ball around the horn. But because more than one person touched it, it had to be replaced. This is what happened on the first pitch with that new ball. Miguel and Duhar planted in the stands. It was the only hit that Cole gave up in that simulated game. That's and the Yankees are certainly happy to be practicing so far. Four major league teams have had to shut down their workouts because of the virus. And NBA teams arrived in Orlando where they set up a quarantine bubble. Players are isolated in their rooms for the next two to three days until they can return two negative COVID tests. In the meantime, they're tweeting out photos of their food service that looks better than the fire festival, at least. Once they're clear, once they're clear through quarantine, they can begin workouts and eat at the restaurants that Disney is opening up just for the players. And the Ivy League has announced today they've canceled all fall sports and are now delaying all winter sports until at least January. The Ivy League becomes the first Division One conference to cancel fall sports. And remember, they were also the first conference to cancel sports back in March, a move that showed foresight back then and maybe now. Dana, I wouldn't be surprised if the major colleges right. follow suit within at least the next month or so. Big Ten, what else do we have? The SEC. Absolutely. All those. Even though money is so much more important for them to have those fall sports in action, mm -hmm. um, safety certainly has to be more paramount. Absolutely. Steve, thank you. Sure. That's CBS 2 News.